recommended the abolishment of all positions related to deputy ministerial positions. So which Ghana should not have deputy ministers. They also have recommended that Ghana should not have regional ministers. They've recommended an amendment to the constitution to allow the president to pay tax. They said the ministers of state can be appointed from parliament or outside parliament. And they've introduced a new provision which says that where a minister of state is appointed from parliament, that minister must resign his position. They also think on the legislature, they are of the view, the considered view, that our parliament should be capped. And they are proposing a cap of 277. Our problem is not the constitution. Our, our problem is the individual, is the Ghanaian leader. Many of the provisions in the constitution are abused more in practice I mean, than in practice. They, they, they are not observed. They, they, they are honored in the breach than in the observance. And that is the problem that we have. The critical thing, Honorable Minister, is that unless we work on the values of the Ghanaian, we will get to nothing. If we don't work on building integrity, building um, respect for uh, public, public property, public, public interest, yeah. ethics, we are joking. Because if you change the law, and I am dishonest, whatever means I'll use to get my advantage, I'll use it.